All right, guys, welcome to the tutorial for the current event uh, muckraking assignment uh, that you're going to do. So you have you have the rest of this week to do this. It is due on Friday, so we start the next chapter uh, on Monday. So uh, here we go. You're in Google Classroom. Obviously, you've already uh, you've already gotten there because you're watching the video. Uh, this is kind of what we're looking at. Here's all those stuff. Here's your directions. You watch the video. Open the muckraking current event 2020 document. Um, that's just your instructions. It's got the rubric on there as well. Please follow the directions. You're going to need to make a copy of this graphic organizer for the current event um, sheet because I didn't want to give everybody a copy. But just make your own copy. That's where you put your notes. Um, and then you're going to write a paragraph and create a screenshot just like you did for the Chapter 16 muckraking thing uh, and then turn in using that, uh, that sheet right here, this one right there. So uh, that's where we're at. So let's take a look at the directions real quick. Here's the document. Um, you're going to write one article uh, and create one screenshot for um, a problem in America, but a current one, not not an old one, right? So it's the same basic uh, premise as before. Uh, it's from living, living and working conditions or environment or politics and government or social tensions. You get to choose one. doesn't matter what area. Uh, I would pick the one that's most interesting uh, to you, okay? Paragraph needs to have the following. Primary source quote, just like you did before. You'll get it out of an article. Uh, analysis of at least three different articles, and uh, we'd like one from the left-leaning source, one from the right-leaning source, and uh, then another one of your choosing could be from down the middle uh, in the center or another left or another right, doesn't matter. Uh, you, we want your opinion on the topic with evidence to support your opinion, okay? So um, just know that you can't be uh, vanilla about this. you got to pick a side and then use some evidence to back it up, okay? That shouldn't be hard to do. If you, get a, if you go to left and right sources, you should be able to find... Uh, your evidence. The format, again, just like the muckraking articles, shocking dramatic headline, introduce the topic, analysis of the articles you read, that's like doing your field sites, demonstrating multiple perspectives, give your opinion, your supporting evidence, and then give me the links to the articles, which will be underneath the paragraph, okay? And then you'll create a breaking news screenshot, same uh, requirements as before. So here's our sources, here's some suggestions, left-leaning sources, MSNBC, New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, and Time. Uh, close to center would be like Wall Street Journal, CBS News, NBC News, USA Today, and AP News. Uh, Right-leaning would be Fox News, Daily Wire, Washington Times, Washington Examiner, and National Review. Okay, so those are some places to look uh, to find some information. And when you go there, here's some possible topics. Living and work conditions, you have Flint, the water situation in Flint, Michigan, uh, the battle over the minimum wage, and uh, teacher strikes that have happened in the last couple of years. In environment, you have fracking. You have climate change, you have the Green New Deal and the Dakota Access Pipeline. In politics, you have gun rights, you have the border wall, uh, impeachment, and the 2020 election. And then in social tensions, you have the Me Too movement, uh, the demand for universal health care, um, the debate over vaccinations, and the uh, controversy over Confederate monuments. So you can pick any of those if you have a different one that you'd like to focus on. Um, awesome. Just come tell me real quick what it is so we can uh, make sure we're on the same page. Here's your rubric so you can see I'm grading you on two things. Uh, the first one is basically analyzing your source of information so you can give me all the information that you found. Uh, and the second one is basically using evidence to promote your opinion. So those are it. So give me good information and then back up your opinion with evidence is really what I'm looking for there. Okay. Um, once you get done with that, once you uh, pick your topic and your um, your uh, sources, you're going to make a copy of this organizer and you can just see, just kind of start plugging your information in there. This is really straightforward uh, and really um, pretty easy to do, okay, with some reminders. So you do that. Uh, when you're done there, you're going to, this is what you'll use to turn it in. You're going to uh, put your screenshots. So you got to create that just like you did before there. Write your paragraph here and add your links there, okay? So that's that's it. It's pretty much more of what you've already been doing, just with a more recent example. So uh, this is due on Friday. I will give you uh, work time to do all of this. Um, and if you have any questions, by all means, let me know. Thanks.